Hey there, second graders, Mr. Sova here on a chilly, overcast Wednesday in San Francisco. And I was thinking about what book to read today, and I got thinking about how important it is to be brave. And we've talked about that in class, how to be an upstander, how to be brave, even when it's not easy to be brave. So I thought of Sheila Ray, the brave. This was written by Kevin Henkes. He also wrote Chrysanthemum and a lot of uh, other books, Bailey Goes Camping, which we've also read. And so I'm gonna read about our friend Sheila Ray, Being Brave. Sheila Ray wasn't afraid of anything. She wasn't afraid of the dark. She wasn't afraid of thunder and lightning. And she wasn't afraid of the big black dog at the end of the block. At dinner, Sheila Ray made believe that the cherries in her fruit cocktail were the eyes of dead bears. And she ate five of them. Mmm, bear eyes. At school, Sheila Ray giggled when the principal walked by. And when her classmate Wendell stole her jump rope during recess, Sheila Ray tied him up until the bell rang. I am very brave, Sheila Ray said, patting herself on the back. Sheila Ray stepped on every crack in the sidewalk without fear. Hope her mom's okay her mom's back. When her sister Louise said there was a monster in the closet, Sheila Ray attacked it. And she rode her bicycle no-handed with her eyes closed. I wouldn't do that, boys and girls. I'm not that brave. Yay, yay, Sheila Ray, her friends yelled, clapping their hands. One day, Sheila Ray decided to walk home from school a new way. Louise was afraid to. You're too brave for me, Sheila Ray, Louise said. You're always such a scaredy cat, Sheila Ray called. I am not, whispered Louise. Sheila Ray started off skipping. I am brave, she sang. I am fearless. She stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She climbed up them and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Those poor evil creatures losing their fingers. Sheila Ray walked and walked. She turned corners. She crossed streets. And then it suddenly occurred to Sheila Ray that nothing looked familiar. Sheila Ray heard frightening noises. They sounded worse than thunder. She thought horrible thoughts. They were worse than anything she had ever imagined. I, I, I am brave, Sheila Ray tried to convince herself. I am fearless. The sounds became more frightening. The thoughts became more horrible. Sheila Ray sat down on a rock and cried help she sniffed she thought of her mother and her father and of louise mother father louise she cried here i am a voice said louise sheila ray hugged her sister we're lost sheila ray said no we're not said louise i know the way home follow me 
Louise stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She jumped up and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked quietly behind her. Can you infer how Sheila Ray is feeling right now? The author told us that she walked quietly behind her. There's the look on Sheila Ray's face. How do you think she's feeling right now? Yeah, I thought humbled, humbled. You can ask your grown-ups what that means. They walked and walked. They crossed streets. They turned corners. Soon their house could be seen between the trees. Sheila Ray grabbed Louise and dashed up the street. When they reached their own yard and the gate was closed behind them, Sheila Ray said, Louise, you are brave. You are fearless. We both are, said Louise. And they walked backwards into the house with their eyes closed. The end. So what do you think the author was trying to tell us, my dears? What do you think the message was from the author? Hmm. Well, tell someone in your house what you think the moral of the story was, what you think the message of the story was. I have an idea, but I want you to come up with your own. Um, I'll see you later for our friends Flora and Ulysses. I'll see you later than that for our Zoom meeting. And then I'll see you later than that for our math talk on Zoom today. What a jam-packed day, a day filled with jam. I'm gonna to call today Jelly Donut Day. Bye.